Good evening and welcome to Unilag TV News. I am Samuel Ojo. We begin with stories from the home front. The University of Lagos has been placed by Times Higher Education World University Rankings as one of the top three universities in Nigeria, ranking between 501 and 600 in the world. The ranking was based on 13 carefully calibrated performance indicators that measure an institution's performance across the areas of teaching, research, knowledge transfer, and international outlook. Kudos to the prestigious University of First Choice and the nation's pride, the University of Lagos, on this feat. Moving on to stories in the education segment, Ekiti State Government has embarked on serious monitoring of activities and inspection of schools as pupils and students resume for the 2021-2022 academic session across the state to ensure that the directives of the government are followed strictly. And from Ekiti State to River State, the management of Ignatius Ajuri University of Education, Port Harcourt, says it has suspended a student, Newton Ezebola in Ziegbe, as he was caught with an illicit drug suspected to be Indian hemp. The student, who street guys refer to as Omo Wobe, is a student of political science and was apprehended by the university security personnel in his hostel with over 1.75 grams of a substance suspected to be Indian hemp, which he allegedly smokes and sells to his colleagues on campus. <sighs> Youths and drugs. Finally, in education, the or near of Ife, Oba Adeyeye editor Ogunwusi, or Jaja II, has expressed confidence in polytechnic education in Nigeria as he described polytechnic education as a major contributor to the economic and technological development of the country. And now to the world of entertainment. We begin with the controversial evicted Bibi Nanja Shania Eye housemate, Tega, as her husband, AJ Money, has cleared the air on events involving the housemate and a rendezvous while in the house, saying he has no plans of turning his back on his wife, as this will be the first time she will be embroiled in such a mess. Although contrary to Tega's claims, AJ Money says they never reached an agreement permitting her to get intimate with male housemates. As he is yet to speak with his wife since her Sunday eviction, the father of one shared that her display on the show was shocking. And she had never showed signs of infidelity, and his wife, as he knows, is a God-fearing woman. Moving on in the world of entertainment, American rapper Cardi B and her husband Offset have welcomed their second child together as they took to the Instagram page to announce the arrival of the baby, sharing a photo of Offset carrying the newborn baby. Congratulations to both of them as they welcome their bundle of joy. Still in entertainment, US-based Ghanaian gospel musician and preacher Sony Badu has received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden and his vice, Kamala Harris. Big one, right? Congratulations to Sonny Badu. And finally in the world of entertainment, put on a rather sad note, American actor Michael K. Williams is dead. The actor who was aged 54 was found dead in his Brooklyn apartment by his nephew and is suspected to have died of a drug overdose as the drug paraphernalia was found in the apartment. He was famous for his role as Omar Little in the TV series The Wire and as Chalky White in Broadwalk Empire. May his soul rest in perfect peace. And that ends Unilab TV News today. Many thanks for watching. I am Samuel Ojo. Good evening.